Hi, I'm Melanie Benjamin, author of The Aviator's Wife and Mistress of the Ritz, and here are some of the books I'm currently reading. My first book recommendation is the book I'm in the middle of right now called All the King's Men by Robert Penn Warren. This is the Pulitzer Prize winning novel from the 1930s that is a fictionalized version about the rise and fall of um, a fictitious governor of a southern state, very much based in life on Huey Long, who was the governor of, of Louisiana. Um, the book is, I have never read this classic, and I am in love with the writing, with the prose. It is the most beautifully written book I've read in a long, long time, and it is the story of a man, um, the narrator, um, Jack Burden, who kind of loses his soul and then maybe finds it again and then maybe loses it again all along the way. And it's about politics and it's about the South, but it's really just about the writing, which I, I cannot recommend enough. It is a beautiful, beautiful book. The other book I'm reading right now, Eric Larson's The Splendid and the Vile, which is the, uh, Eric Larson is one of the best writers of nonfiction there is out there, and I love all his books. And this one just recently came out, and it is about Winston Churchill during the very first year of the war, the very first year of the, which was the worst of the Blitz in London. And it's a, what he does so well with his books, it's, a, it's an intimate portrait. He, he concentrates on two or three of the people. Churchill is one of them. His uh, daughter is another. His aide is another. And he talks about their private lives in the midst of all this too. So he, he brings it to a very, per, uh, he brings history to a very personal level. And it's such an inspiring book. And particularly during these very difficult times that we're all living in right now, I thought it helped me quite a lot to read about another civilization going through another very difficult time and to read about their courage and their fortitude and their they had a leader for those times and um, it's very interesting contrast between today and then but it ultimately is a wonderful inspiring book my third recommendation is another kind of throwback and this is james m kane's mildred pierce I've been rewatching an awful lot of old movies down, uh, now that we're social distancing, and it got me thinking about the books that some of these movies are based on, and I had never read James M. Cain, who's kind of the father of noir. Um, his books like The Postman Always Rings Twice, Double Indemnity, were books that, that the movies that were based on these books were the very beginning of film noir. And Mildred Pierce is one of my favorite movies and it's got me to think about the book. So I went and I read the book Mildred Pierce. It is an amazing feminist book. Um, one of the tropes of noir and tropes that he, um, James M. Cain was guilty of, was that the femme fatale, the woman was always the dame, the troublemaker, the reason that the man lost his way. Um, he doesn't do that in Mildred Pierce. It truly is about a woman. It's her story. He doesn't stereotype her. He doesn't relegate her to just, you know, a bombshell who is trouble for a man. He talks about a woman truly, truly struggling um, with marriage, with trying to uh, raise her children on her own, with fine turning her way in the business world. But ultimately, it is a uh, it is a novel about the sacrifices of motherhood and Mildred is a beautifully wrought, fully dimensional female written in the 1930s by a man. And that's kind of an unusual thing. Um, I can't recommend that book enough. It's amazing. Finally, I would like to recommend my own book, Mistress of the Ritz, which I would call this escapism in a way because it certainly whis whisks you back to Paris um, at this point uh, through the 1920s through the 1930s. Um, the escapism kind of stops in the 1940s when this is a book about the German occupation of Paris and France. But it is a book about an amazing woman, a real woman. This is based on a true story, Blanche Ozello, who was an American woman who was married to the Frenchman who ran the Hotel Ritz. And it's a story of an incredible marriage full of passion, full of deceit, but ultimately it is a story of how a war came to define this marriage and to heal it in a way. And it is a book about the, the Ritz of Paris. And so if you want to escape to Paris, even during the war, you still get a lot of uh, 
still quite a lot of glamour and luxury in this book, but there's also true heroism um, during a truly harrowing time. Uh, but it all takes place within the walls of the Hotel Ritz of Paris. So I highly recommend that. So thank you so much.